Hello. You are most welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Real Impartation Moment on Tuesday Night Anatomy with Daniel Auckland. Today's section, I quickly run with you the obturator nerve. Now get to know that the obturator nerve is one of the nerves, okay, that emerges, you know, out of what we call the lumbar plexus. And one important thing that you have to know is that this is the main nerve which gives motor supply to, of course, the medial compartments of the thigh muscles. Okay, and one thing that you know is that just like the femoral nerve we've already done, okay, this obturator nerve, its root value is L2 to L4. My friends, at the end of this section, we should be able to tell, you know, the origin, the various important relations, you know, looking at the course of this obturator nerve. Eventually looking at, of course, the anterior and posterior divisions of this nerve. And of course, we also look at, you know, the cutaneous aspects as far as this nerve is concerned. And so, without much ado, let's set the ball rolling. Looking at the obturator nerve. So there we are. Now, this is the obturator nerve. Okay. Now, one thing that I want you to know is that by way of origin, we said as coming from, of course, the ventral rami of, you know, L2 to L4. Okay. The anterior divisions of the primary ventral rami of L2 to L4, you know, lumbar segment of the spinal cord. Okay. That is one thing that you have to know. And one thing that you should know is that the fibers, okay, they emerge through what we call the swast medial muscle and eventually they emerge lateral to the muscle, sorry, medial to the muscle, as you can see over here. This is the obturator nerve, okay. Once it comes out, okay, then it will run along with what you call the, I mean, what do you call the, I mean, obturator vessels, obturator artery, obturator vein, okay, to go through what you call the obturator canal. Now, one thing you should know is that the obturator canal is nothing but with the obturator foramen, okay, covered by obturator membrane and leaving that small superior portion. That becomes the obturator canal, okay? So that is, I mean, one thing that you should know. Then through that, it will enter what you call the thigh, okay? So by coming out of the obturator canal, it will enter the thigh, okay? And one thing that you should know is that at the level of the superior pubic ramus, okay, Immediately, just around that level, it be divides into two. Okay, it divides into what you call anterior and posterior, you know, divisions. Okay, so one thing is that yes, the nerve is coming from, of course, I mean, from, I mean, L two, L three, and of course L four. Okay, L two, L three, L four, ventral rami. Okay, anterior division of the ventral rami of this spinal nerve segment, in the lumbar region. The nerve emerges. Okay, this time lateral. Sorry, medial to what we call the swast medial muscle, and then it comes through the obturator, you know, I mean, uh, to what come towards what we call the obturator canal, okay, of the obturator foramen, and it's not moving alone; it is moving alongside the obturator vessels, okay, to enter, okay, over this place. And one important thing is that once it comes out at the level of the superior pubic ramus, then it's able to divide into anterior and posterior divisions. Now let's look at these divisions. Okay, so that is what I want you to know. Okay, from that's the main trunk of what you call the obturator nerve. Okay, having emerged out of what you call the obturator foramen at the level of what you call the superior pubic ramus. Okay, that's the landmark. It's able to divide into what you call anterior division. Okay, and of course, a posterior division. So over here, one you see over here is the anterior division and there's a posterior division. After all, this is the pubic region and this is the gluteal region, okay? So this becomes the posterior division, the superior, this inferior aspect, okay? Now, once it comes out, one thing we find is that this anterior division, yes, will run between two muscles, okay? Now, one important thing is that I told you that the pectineus is a hybrid muscle. We saw that pectineus was supplied by either the main trunk, okay, of the femoral nerve or from the anterior division of the femoral nerve. Okay, that's the pectineus. After getting that supply over there, some of the fibers of pectineus, okay, being a hybrid muscle, is also receiving some some branches from what we call the obturator nerve. But precisely, what division of the obturator nerve are you talking about? We are talking about what we call the anterior division of the obturator nerve, giving supply, motor supply to this pectineus muscle again. Okay, that is one thing I have to know. Now, 
because I just mentioned Petinia, then I have to be quick and tell you that now sometimes there's this nerve over here which we call the accessory of traitor nerve with its root values being L3, L4, also coming from what you call the ventral aspects or what you call the anterior division of what you call the ventral remorse, okay, of L3 and L4 of the lumbar plexus, okay, that is the accessory of traitor nerve. Now, in about 10% of the cases, we have this accessory of traitor nerve, which will run, you know, ventral to this superior pubic remus, okay, it comes all the way to supply this pectineus muscle again. Now, one thing is that sometimes it may also join with the what you call anterior division, and then of course give that supply to a pectineus. Okay, that's what we find. Now, so the anterior, you know, division of the obturator nerve having supplied, you know, pectineus, yes, goes on and supplies what we call the adductor longus. Okay, the adductor longus. Now we are in the medial compartment of the thigh. So with all these muscles I'm talking about, we are supposed to think about them in being the medial compartment of the thigh. There's a schematic representation the adductor longus muscle because one thing important thing that you know is that this adductor longus yes apart from forming what you call the medial border okay it's medial border forming the medial border of what you call the femoral triangle yes it also contributes to the floor of this femoral triangle so it is supplied by what you call the same anterior division uh, of what you call the obturator nerve then this nerve will terminate okay by supplying what you call the gracilis muscle yeah, beyond that, we know that it's going to pierce what you call the fascia lata, okay, to become a cutaneous nerve. So, what have we seen from the anterior division? Yes, we are giving supply to pectineus, and sometimes also from what you call this accessory of traitor nerve. Then, also giving supply to what you call, I mean, adductor longus, as well as terminating by supplying what you call the gracilis. Now, what do I see? I see that this anterior division, yes, although we are saying that it's running. I mean, between superior pubic remorse and of course, obturator externus muscle. I mean, between them, that's what we find. Okay, schematically from what I see over here. But one important relation which you should never forget is that it is running between, of course, this adductor longus muscle and adductor brevis. Now, adductor longus is a longer muscle. Then be, be, behind it, we have the brevis, the short form. These are the two important relations you should never forget about them, that this anterior division runs between adductor longus and adductor brevis. That's an important relation. And so apart from supplying adductor longus because also running very close to, of course, the adductor brevis, then this anterior division may also supply what you call this adductor brevis. Then running between this adductor brevis and adductor magnus, that's the larger muscle, okay, I have the posterior division of what we call the, I mean, the obturator nerve. But before this posterior division will come over here, it will run through the fibers of obturator esthenus muscle. And so it means that it will supply, give supply to obturator esthenus muscle. Okay, after piercing through it, it will give supply to it. And then from there, it will run between what we call the adductor brevis and adductor magnus, where it will also give branch to this adductor brevis. Okay, and then also give branch to this adductor magnus muscle. So one important thing that I have to know is that let this adductor, I mean muscles be your landmarks, okay? That is adductor longus, adductor brevis, and adductor magnus. And importantly, the adductor, I mean brevis, is the important point because that should be a main landmark so that between adductor longus and adductor brevis, I have anterior division of obturator nerve running. Between adductor brevis and adductor magnus, I have what we call the posterior division of obturator nerve after it has pierced through this obturator esthenus muscle. Okay, so that is, I mean, what you have to know. Okay, so that is that one. Now, in summary, what are we talking about? What we are saying is that from what you call the anterior divisions of the ventral primary rami okay of what you call the spinal nerve segment in the lumbar region we have from l2 to l4 we have what you call the obturator nerve imagine running medial to what you call the swast major muscle okay and once it comes it runs towards what you call the obturator canal of the obturator foramen and we are saying that at the level of what you call the spare pubic remorse it divides into two we have an anterior division and a posterior division okay so the anterior division, we said it's going to supply what we call the pectineus muscle. And because, of course, the pectineus, the, I mean, the anterior division is very close to the hip joint, it may also give, you know, that kind of articular branch to the hip joint, okay? So that's what we find. 
and because we saw in the case of the Fumra Nev, because of course the Fumra Nev, I mean the I mean the posterior division, okay, which came from there, uh, which was supplying, of course, the rectus femoris was very close to the hip joint, gave that supply to it. So because this anterior division is very close, okay, to this kind of I mean from uh, what you call hip joint, it may give a branch to supply the hip joint, okay. And then of course it will supply the pectineus. I told that pectineus is a hybrid muscle, and that is why it is having this dual nerve supply from both the anterior compartment by way of the femoral nerve, the main trunk, or even coming from the anterior division of the femoral nerve, and of course coming from the anterior division of what your obturator nerve is also receiving supply over here. Then after that, it will also be supplying what you call the adductor longus muscle, adductor longus muscle. Yes, and then we also supply adductor brevis because at the end, the anterior division will run in between the adductor longus and adductor brevis muscles. Then it will also give the last motor supply to what we call the gracilis muscle. Then we said that after supplying gracilis muscle, yes, it will pierce what we call the what we call the fascia lata, okay, to supply okay the medial aspects of what you call the thigh and therefore beyond that it becomes the you know the medial cutaneous nerve okay it becomes the medial cutaneous nerve to give that kind of medial supply to what you call the thigh okay that's what we see then we said that the posterior division will pierce through what you call the obturator stenus and so by piercing through obturator stenus is to supply it then beyond that it will run between of course the adductor brevis and adductor magnus giving motor supply to these ones now one thing i want to tell you is that this adductor brevis yes is because of where it is strategically positioned it is I mean, receiving branches from both you know anterior division and of course posterior division but sometimes just one of them may supply it you know sometimes just one of them may supply it then yes after supplying adductor you know Magnus muscle, yes, it will also run through what you call the adductor hiatus, that's the posterior aspect, to give an articular branch to, of course, the hip joint. Just like we saw that the nerve which supply the femoral nerve, which sup I mean, the femoral nerve, okay, it's, you know, posterior division, the one which supplied, okay, the vastus medialis, okay, because very close to the joint, it supplied the knee joint. This one, yes, also, I mean, after running through what you call the adductor hiatus, Okay, to supply the knee joint as well. All right, so I hope you find this meeting helpful. Yes, in future videos, we'll be bringing, you know, a lot of these series to try and then quickly revise these ones. I'm very grateful for your time this evening. Have a good night, all of you, and may the good Lord richly bless you. Amen.